The Grigorash consists of a salto forward in a tucked position with takeoff from both legs and a half twist off. It's named after Romania's Cristina Grigorash, who first performed it in 1980 and carries an F rating. It's one of the most difficult balance beam acrobatic elements in the code of points. However, it loses in popularity when compared to the Standing Arabian or the Tuck Full, which carry the same rating. The aerial walkover forward, landing on one foot, is quite common in most routines nowadays, but not the version landing on both feet. The two elements are valued at D, but landing on one foot makes it easier to rebound and link to other skills. And in today's era of the sport, it's all about maximizing the potential of an element through connection bonus. Plus, landing one foot at a time looks more aesthetically pleasing when executed with straight legs throughout, so there's not much incentive to go for the two-footed landing. The aerial cartwheel to land on both feet falls into the same category as the previous skill. Its counterpart to one foot is way more popular for similar reasons, even though both versions are also rated D. Nonetheless, a two-footed landing would be a refreshing take on this skill. The Rolfova reached its peak of popularity in the early to mid-2000s but has disappeared from most routines since 2008. It's described as a flick flack with a full twist followed by a swing down to cross straddle sit and is valued at D. It's credited to Czech gymnast Jana Rolfova, even though there's no footage of her doing it. Since gymnasts must have an element close to the beam with a part of the torso to avoid a point one deduction, this skill would fit that role perfectly. Named after Soviet gymnast Albina Shihova, the Shihova 2 is the most difficult acrobatic element performed on the balance beam. It carries a G rating, and is described as a salto backward stretched with a full twist. There's always a high risk in performing any full twist on the beam, but this one takes the cake, especially since it can only be achieved by connecting it to other elements. One inch to the side and you're off the apparatus. So, it's fair to say only the most fearless and gifted beam workers would dare to try something like this. What's your favorite element off this list?